Hello, Todd Beamer, scholars and staff. May is Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We will look at contributions, events, achievements, and notable persons that are Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islanders. We will also explore this month the wrongful and un-American acts of anti-Asian bias and discrimination that have been going on in our country. Asian American Heritage Week was first observed in 1979 under President Jimmy Carter, who noted the enormous contributions to the sciences, arts, industry, government, and commerce made by Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush expanded the celebration to cover the whole month of May. Why the month of May? The month of May was chosen because of two significant events. In 1843, the first Japanese immigrants arrived to the United States. And in May 10th, 1869, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad, which was made possible with the contributions of Chinese Americans. Asian Americans arrived as either immigrants or refugees, have lived in the United States for over 250 years, and have contributed greatly to the foundation and economic success of this nation. Native Hawaiians are First Nations people that predate the United States and are not immigrants or refugees. As such, they are treated as a political class with the right to self-determination and self-governance. Pacific Islanders are persons having origins in the original peoples of American Samoa, Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands, the Polynesian Islands, the Micronesian Islands, and the Malaysian Islands. While American Asians, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders are three distinct ethnic groups. Historically, they have been grouped together by the government. Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are a diverse group, making up more than 50 ethnic groups and speaking more than 100 languages. Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the United States increased by 45% between 2000 and 2010, making them one of the fastest growing minority groups in the country. This chart shows that Asian Americans are more likely than any other minority group to speak a language other than English at their home, where about 77% of Asian homes speak another language. On the left, you can see a list of some of the languages spoken by Asian Americans, such as Korean, Thai, Vietnamese, Tagalog, Chinese, Burmese, and Samoan, among others. This month, we will reflect on the tradition of leadership resilience and courage shown by Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Island communities and recommit to the struggle for the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander equity. Asian Americans and Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders make our nation more vibrant through diversity of cultures, languages, and religions. There is no single story of the Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander experience, but rather a diversity of contributions that enrich America's culture.